Oh, hello there. Welcome to the Freiburg Rectory for this Year of the Eucharist video. I was just doing a little light reading here with St. Augustine, and it's got me thinking about this whole Year of the Eucharist and something that philosophers have, re have uh, reflected upon for centuries. And that's the three transcendentals. The three transcendentals are what attracts a human person. They're what draws us outside of ourselves. And they're these, truth, beauty, and goodness. And to think about those in terms of this year of the Eucharist. To think about truth, right? Over these videos, we've tried to talk about the doctrine of the Eucharist, things like transubstantiation, things like uh, all, all of the teachings of the church and great, great popes and, and great documents and councils and what they've said about and, and what's been revealed in John chapter 6 and what happened at the Last Supper and all of these different revealed truths of the Eucharist and the truth that, that we learn about the Eucharist and what it means for us and what it means for our spiritual life. So hopefully during this year, you've gotten some of the truth of the Eucharist and you've grown in your appreciation of these great truths about Christ and the Eucharist. And then also beauty. As we celebrate the Eucharist, it ought to be beautiful. The celebration of Mass should be beauty drawing us in to Christ, drawing us into his love. And there was that one I know a few weeks ago mentioned, you know, in heaven on earth, that the Mass should be so beautiful that we feel like we're at heaven on earth. And so we've talked about the Mass and how it's celebrated, whether it's music or whether it's art and architecture and all these ways that we should be drawn to God through beauty that's given to us during the celebration of Mass. And then finally, goodness. Of course, we know how good God is in giving us the Eucharist. That is part of his love. It's part of the way he shares his life with us. But then also we've seen how the Eucharist has... Um, has transformed people's lives to make them good, to make them better, to make them attractive. Think about the Eucharistic martyrs that we talked about, ones that were so good that they were willing to give their lives for this incredible gift of the Eucharist. And so the Eucharist is maybe the source and summit of all of these transcendentals also, because it is the goodness of God himself that's given to us to allow us to be good. It's also beauty itself, that we enter in the most beautiful thing that happens, that ought to happen, the Mass. And that actually calls forth a response of beauty. You think about all the different art and architecture, you know, the different parts, whether it's a little stained glass window at St. Lawrence, or it's a new high altar at St. Joseph, or the Sacred Heart statue at St. Joseph. The Eucharist has called forth the best in human beauty, the, to give a worthy dwelling place for God. And then truth. Hopefully we've encountered truth during this year of the Eucharist, the teachings of the church and the reality of the Eucharist and what Jesus has said as he says, this is my body, this is my blood. Unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no life within you. And hopefully reflecting upon truth, beauty, and goodness helps us to realize, you know, we have this question, what brings people to God? What brings people to the church? And sometimes we think, well, it's got to be this program or that process or it's got to be this idea or that event or whatever. And maybe those have their place. But I think ultimately every human being is drawn by truth, by beauty, and by goodness. And we let ourselves be drawn into God through those three areas of reality. And so hopefully this year of the Eucharist has done that for, for all of us, that through this truth, beauty, and goodness, that we've come to know Jesus Christ in the Eucharist, and our lives have been more fully alive for him. So we're going to keep wrapping up this year of the Eucharist, tying up these, these odds and ends. And so we've got a couple more videos, I believe just two more weeks uh, for this year of the Eucharist. So thanks for tuning in, and uh, hopefully you have a warm fire to sit by this December as well. God bless.